Today, it's the holy grail of Southern Californian Mexican food. We're making the most delicious carne asada. And it starts with a simple marinade. Everything goes in, the meat goes in, goes in the fridge. So we'll start by taking off the top of a bunch of cilantro and cutting it up. We want it fairly small, so you're gonna be chopping for about a minute. Or feel free to use a processor, but I don't think it's necessary. And by the way, a good opportunity to work on your chopping skills. And in it goes. Next, three large cloves of garlic, tablespoon of cumin, teaspoon each of fresh ground pepper, and kosher salt with my new kosher salt grinder, courtesy of Gary Clark. This is amazing. I say it all the time. Fresh ground pepper is tremendous, way better than shake pepper. Salt, same thing. Thanks, bro. Half cup of olive oil. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Brown sugar, zest, and juice of one lime. You wanna think about getting yourself a zester if you don't have one. A couple tablespoons of soy. We mix, and look at this. It smells so good. I mean, right here. Imagine what happens when this sits for the next few hours. So now here's our meat. And look, I'm using something called flap. This is sirloin flap, which is similar to skirt steak, right? You see the stringiness of the fibers in here, which should mean to you right away, when we cut it, we're gonna cut across to shorten the fibers, and make it uh, super tender. But these are just gonna go in. But so this goes in, and you just wanna make sure that everything's getting coated beautifully with this, right? Does, isn't it gorgeous? The color is amazing. And I have to say, I do like the way that it comes in these, in these long strips. I'm getting cilantro and garlic and the lime juice right here, and everything's really great. This is a great thing to do. You wake up on a Sunday morning, make some of this, throw it together, go have your day. And then when you come back at the end of the day, boy, are you gonna be happy you did this. I'm so happy you listened to me. You're like, oh my God, that guy is a genius. He's dopey, but he's a genius. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge and it's gonna live there up to four hours. Once again, if you got an hour, give it an hour. If you got four hours, give it four hours. When it comes out, the grill, couple minutes, life is great. And here it is. And look how gorgeous it is. Look at this. Look at these pieces. Thin, amazing. Ready to throw them on? Here we go. Uh-oh, look out for the smoke. Get ready. Fantastic. Of course it's the oil's gonna do that. Here we go. And last one. And look at the charring already. It's amazing. This is fantastic. Of course, the thin pieces won't take that long. This thick guy, this is the one thick guy we've got. It's gonna be, you know, three minutes a side or so. But look at the gorgeous color we're getting. These charring marks, this is everything we want. Everything. And as they start to be done, off they come. Okay, so I can't wait, so let's try a little. And here's the thing to remember. With any meat that's fibrous like this, you cut against the grain to shorten up the fibers and make it way more juicy and tender. So we're gonna cut against the grain like this. Look at that, it's be beautiful inside, still gorgeously pink. Look at that, and this bite right here. The brown sugar, the soy, the garlic, the cilantro, the amazingness. Oh my God. Tacos, salad, quesadilla, or just this. Right into your mouth. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sirloin flap steak, my new best friend. I'm telling you, you're going to want to go and use flank. I want you using this or skirt for sure. It's so damn good. Hit like subscribe and leave a comment and make this. I know I repeat myself a lot, but honestly, it is that good. We're eating well here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You could be too. Go make it. Go on. After you subscribe, go on.